Iranian President Hassan Rouhani spoke to delegates at the World Economic Forum annual meeting in Davos today in a much-anticipated appearance that didn't disappoint. Renouncing the use of nuclear weapons, he reaffirmed his country's right to peaceful nuclear development but welcomed engagement that would lead to economic growth and defeat terrorism. Events and developments of the past six years in the global economy have shown that no one can live alone. No country can solve its problems on its own whilst disregarding others. No business can achieve sustainable growth without adhering to its social responsibilities and no power can regard its domination as permanent. The message to delegates crowding the Congress Center here this morning was firmly that Iran is open for business. Already a number of Western oil executives here met with the president this morning for talks about re-entering the country. In the plenary session, President Rouhani underlined how engagement with the West linked into improving growth and defeating terrorism. It is true that extremism and violence gets its rank and file from the army of the hungry and the unemployed. Thus, I believe that the fundamental approach in fighting terrorism should commence with development. Only through cultural improvement and job creation is it possible to replace suicidal hopelessness with hope for the future and use faith in God to serve humankind instead of destroying it. Finally, the president reaffirmed Iran's right to peaceful nuclear development, but he said this on nuclear weapons. To those who are under the influence of propaganda and still believe that Iran is seeking to develop nuclear weapons, I strongly and clearly declare that nuclear weapons have no place in our security strategy and that Iran has no motivation to move in that direction. Rouhani's speech is bound to be a major talking point at the annual meeting today. Tomorrow, the U.S. gets the chance to respond as Secretary of State John Kerry speaks to the delegates here in Davos.